Hey guys. Hello, beautiful people of God. Hey, chosen generation. It's your girl, Nay. I pray that all is well with you today. I pray that everything is going great for you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Well, it's a kind of cloudy day here today in Delaware. Kind of cloudy, you know, but it's okay because the joy of the Lord is my strength and I have the sunshine of the Spirit of God on the inside. Yes. Amen. I was going to come on um, because I, I was about to say, well, you know what? I could just put something else up today rather than um, rather than getting on. I was going to, you know, do something a little bit different. But uh, the Holy Spirit prompted me while I was getting ready. And he said to go on, you know, even if it's, you know, a little bit, you know, it's not for a long period of time, but to go on and talk about what he wants me to talk about. So I, I want to be consistent and do what the Holy Spirit is telling me to do. So I said, let me go ahead and be obedient to my daddy. So yeah, um, I want to welcome though, before I get started, I want to welcome, welcome, welcome the new subscribers. Welcome, welcome. This is the Daily Read with me. My name is me. Welcome on this channel. I encourage you. I lift you up in the word of God as well as encourage you. And uh, just to be able to do the things that God has placed within you whatever your purpose is, to encourage you to go forth in that and just to encourage you from day-to-day -day life. Yes. So God is good. We're the family of God and I just want to welcome you and I'm so glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're here. And on this channel, you will grow. You will prosper on this channel and you will hear things that are prophetic from God. Well, today the Lord, I asked God, I said, Lord, what would you have me come on and speak about? And he um, prompted me to speak about uh, waiting, waiting, he said, uh, go on and talk about waiting on the Lord, waiting on him. And he said that some of us or some have already done some things that are uh, a little bit was too, a little bit too haste is what he was telling me. Some decisions that have been made in your own personal lives that he really didn't direct you to move yet. And um, he was saying to me that... Um, some of the moves that you made make it's going to cost you, may cost you some. Um, and I said, and he repeated it. He said, let them know that some of the moves that they made um, is going to cost them because they didn't wait. Um, so God is saying that some of the things that he said, he said to me that some things that he's told you to do, whether it's business, I'm not sure exactly. You know who you are. You know, if this applies to you, take it. If it's if it's you, if, if the shoe fits, then it's, you know, wear it. But um, the Holy Spirit said that whoever comes across this video and is going through what I, what I, what he's saying, you would know. You know, you you would know. Um, he said it's some things that he's spoken to you to do, um, but it wasn't the right timing, and you've done it already, but but wasn't quite wasn't quite the right timing. You know, you were more so in the preparation period. Um, and you've done some things a little bit too quick. And now, um, it's, you know, of course you have to pay for some of the things that you've done when you move a little bit too fast with the, before the Holy Spirit. Um, so that's why if you don't hear anything, when you pray, a lot of times when we pray and we don't hear anything from God, sometimes we just have to be still and wait rather than jumping and moving, um, and doing what we feel as though is the next move. Now, he said, the Holy Spirit, the things that God has put placed in you to do, uh, whether it's starting a business, whether it's uh, moving to another state, whether it's uh, going in partnership with someone, um, whatever the Holy Spirit has put in place in your spirit to do, and you know that it was the Holy Spirit, um, he said that it is the Holy Spirit that spoke to you to do whatever it is that he spoke to you to do. Not everyone, but you know, again... This is um, one of those things where if it fits, if the shoe fits when I'm saying something, then it would be for you. If it checks in your spirit, you know. Um, but whatever it is that God has spoken to your heart to do, um, he said that he did tell you to do it, uh, but it wasn't the right timing. And um, also he was explaining to me about even some marriages, some, some proposals. That's what he was saying proposals people have been proposing 
and it was a little bit it was too fast too fast of proposing uh proposals um he said it was some more things that he wanted to show you about the person now it's never of course too late you know i mean you might say well i gave the person a ring or you know i got the ring or he gave me the ring or you know i proposed to her and, you know and he was letting me know you've seen some things even after you proposed you've seen that you, you you kind of look like made a mistake you know you feel like you made a mistake but you you know she's all excited everyone's excited people and the family are excited but you kind of feel in your spirit that this is not who you want to be with god said it's not too late it's not too late to make that change um but um that's why he said he you didn't hear you, you really didn't hear him say move at that exact time is what he's saying but it was some things that he wanted to show you about the person to let you see that this is what you would be dealing with this is the, this is some of the things sometimes when we meet people and we're with them for a period of time um you should be able to see pretty much all aspects of the way they are pretty much i i would say you know if you've been with them for a good year or so you, you know you're going to see all the sides of them you know as far as you know when they're upset when they're disappointed about something you know all different sides of them you know how they handle different situations um but um in this particular situation i'm not sure how many people how many is out there but um god said that you you needed to wait you needed to wait on that on that marriage you need to wait and you also can feel in your spirit that it's not right so um i wanted to come on and be obedient to what the holy spirit is saying not only just marriages but in other areas of just doing things in business with people um, just because the person seems nice and they seem like they know what they're doing and you're just jumping into, okay, I'm in agreement with doing business with you. Um, the Holy Spirit said that he didn't tell you to do it. And if he didn't speak to you to do it, you shouldn't be doing it. Um, and that's where he's saying, acknowledge him in all your ways and you, and he would direct you. Um, so he wanted me to come on and talk about this because, um, uh, he said that it's going on a lot and a lot of things are going to be, it's going to make a mess going to be a big mess and you're going to say oh my gosh why why did i deal with this person why did i end up doing this why 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 and it's because you move too fast you know and we've we've all done it we've all moved fast you know and did things but um he told me to come on here and tell you to put your brakes on because um it's not it's not time it's not time it's not time for that shift that you was getting ready to do right then almost it's almost he's getting ready to bless you with that desire he's getting ready to bless you with that wife he's getting ready to bless you with that business partner but make sure he wants to make sure it's the right partner and also in the right timing he's going to bless you to be able to move but you don't want to just move and jump to a state and move somewhere and he was saying you know, throw your kids anywhere with somebody and say, well, you take care of my kids and I'll come back and get them in another year. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. He said, wait. And if you can't take your kids and get your kids, not no year, but you can't get your kids in a matter of uh, maybe a couple weeks or so, you know, that's too long for your kids to be with someone. And you want to make sure, even if it's a couple weeks, that your kids are with someone that is... Uh, truly truly someone you can trust truly you can trust you know and i don't know look i'm gonna tell you this guys i don't know who this is referring to but the holy spirit told me to come on and say it, so i have to be obedient <laughs> i have to be obedient and so um i thought it was a, like a different message but this is the message that he gave me he, this is the message that he told me he told me to come on and say put on your brakes to a lot of those things that you're doing business plans uh, moving, uh, just jumping up, moving to different states and, um, you know, proposing and basically knowing in your spirit, you like this person, you love this person to a certain extent, but you know, you know that that was not, it's not really right. Something's not right. Like you, you feel like it's something off. It's a little something off there. That's the Holy Spirit telling you to wait. That's the Holy Spirit telling you to wait. And if you didn't hear anything, 
from whatever direction he's going to give you uh, concerning your future uh, endeavors, you don't want to just jump and just do whatever. You know, you don't want to just jump and do whatever. So I wanted to come on and be obedient to what he was telling me to do. I'm on my way to work, y'all. I know you probably say, every time you're always on your way to work, yeah, I'm on my way to work. You know, um, this too shall pass, but I got to wait on God. Amen. But let me pray with you real quick. Um, God is going to direct you. God is going to lead you. He's going to guide you. I want you to be encouraged. Don't be discouraged in any way. This word is to, to just to, uh, let you know to be aware, to be aware. God doesn't want you to make a shipwreck and look back and say, oh my God, I got myself in a big mess. God wants you to be aware of the, the mistakes that you can make if you move too swiftly. That's all. He wants you to be aware and he loves you and he is using me as a mouthpiece to let you know, hold your brakes. That's all I can hear him saying is hold your brakes. So let me pray with you. Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for these, your people. I thank you, Father, that you will give them direction concerning their future and what they are, they are doing, their, their future endeavors. Father, I ask that you will let them know without a shadow of a doubt when it's time to move, that they don't just move in their own flesh, that they don't just move and just do things uh, haphazardly and just because they, it feels right. Lord, let them know that they have to be sure that you have spoken to them especially about marriage, especially about their future, especially about business plans with people and partnerships and moving to other states. Let them know that they must know without a shadow of a doubt that it's your, your hand and that you're telling them to do this and it's the right timing. Let them know, God, when to move and when not to move. In Jesus' name, I thank you for directing them. I thank you for leading them and I thank you for guiding, guiding them in the name of Jesus. God, we love you, we praise you, we adore you, and we thank you that it is done by faith in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, I love you so much. Again, this is your girl name. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. It helps my channel. Please like it and share. Uh, it helps YouTube to recommend my video to other people. I am here for you. I love you. I hope this video and these videos that I'm putting up are helping you in some way to encourage you and to lift you up. You know, it's not about me, but it's about Christ. It's not about anything that I can do. And I always tell God before I come on, I say, Lord, take me out of the scene and you show up. Take me out because I can't do anything without you. But you show up. You know what the people need. You know what they need to hear. So I ask him that he just take over at all times. I love you guys. Be encouraged and know that you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless. I love you.